Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today is National Mammography Day. Connecticut's offering a new program to help out women who can't afford regular mammograms. The Public Health's Early Detection and Prevention Program provides breast cancer screenings at locations across the state for patients who don't have access, whether because of cost or lack of insurance. DPH Commissioner Dr. Manisha Juthani spoke about the program, saying in part, quote, we have incredible medical services in Connecticut that specialize in detecting and treating breast cancer. If you're uninsured, or underinsured, we can connect you with providers who will give you a mammogram at no cost. This is critically important and can save your life, end quote. Now, for more information on that program, visit fox61.com. And getting mammograms scheduled is certainly important. And tonight I'm do uh, joined by Dr. Diana James, head of breast imaging at Jefferson Radiology. So let's talk about getting screenings. It's really important, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Super important. Early detection is key. Okay. Yeah. We hear that all the time. Yep. Like early detection is key. Why is that important? And who should be thinking about that early detection? So if you're turning 40, you should definitely be thinking about it. So now everybody agrees that age 40 is the age that you should start getting your mammogram. Now, if you have a family history of breast cancer, um, like a strong family history, mother, sister, you may need to start earlier, actually. So you should talk to your doctor, your OBGYN, or your primary care doctor. Uh, but everybody in general should start at age 40. Uh, the key, the earliest we find the breast cancer, the less treatment and the more successful the treatment will be. Okay, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what does a mammogram entail? Like walk us through the process. I don't if someone for the first time hasn't been, mm -hmm. what can they expect? So you're going to be asked to go into a room where there's this giant mammogram machine, which makes a lot of sounds, you know, initially when it's taking the imaging. So it may be a little bit daunting, but the actual, we'll take four views, two of each side, each breast, and the total imaging time is one minute. So it's literally one minute can save your life. You know, if we find something that needs to be treated, uh, it's not a long period of time. There is pressure involved with the mammogram, so I'm not gonna, I've had it myself, it's not comfortable. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, oh, it's a piece of cake. It's, it's really not for us to get the best images possible because our goal, honestly, we're pushing the resolution of imaging to a point where we can find breast cancers that are smaller than five millimeters, which just, for those of you that don't know the metric system, yeah. that's less than a quarter of an inch. So if you think about the rate Oh, wow. the end of a pencil mm -hmm. smaller than that you know that's that's, that's the goal that's what we can actually find and detect these days and that that might lead me to my next question though there's mm -hmm. th a 3d mammography can you yes. explain what that is so that is a technique that we've started and I have to say the state of Connecticut uh, has been so supportive of this breast test technique uh, we know from data that was published kind of in the in the 2018 2019 uh, that this technique can increase cancer detection rate by 40% oh, wow. uh, so the technique to the patient there's nothing different you mm -hmm. kind of go into the machine and the machine takes the picture but for the radiologist the 3d imaging part we look through the layers of the breast tissue and that's how we find little tiny cancers so and then if who yeah. what would you say to a woman who might be a little bit on the fence about getting that screening I would say uh, go with a friend you know mm -hmm. find a friend go with your mom go with your grandmother mm -hmm. go with your cousin sister um, it's always it's pretty easy to schedule the appointments together because they're only 15 minute appointments um, so go go for that moral support you know mm -hmm. definitely um, I would also say more than 90% of the time, you're guaranteed that your exam is going to be totally normal. There's mm -hmm. going to be no issue. The odds yeah. are really good in your favor. That's going to be fine. And, you know, when you think of other cancer screenings, too, only a minute of your time of actual, this actual screening, that's, it's much easier than other screenings, too, when you think about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like a col colonoscopy. Not, exactly. not to say you shouldn't get not, a colonoscopy. Not, say that, not but all that all, but it's, it's, it's easier. It's an easy it's one easier. to check off the list. All yes. right. Thank you so yes. much. And, of course, um, uh, this is... Uh, Dr. Dr. James from Jefferson Radiology. We appreciate your time, so thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah, for having me. Brett? Yeah.